Hey everybody, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with a problem that's common in WordPress, and that's dealing with the situation where you want to upload an image uh, to your blog, but you get an error message. So let me give you an example. So here is a blog entry. So I want to insert an image here. So I'm just going to go uh, Add Image. I'm going to select Files. And I'll choose from my little collection, whatever. I'll choose the uh, the lock. There we go. So I go open, and you see we have an error: failed to upload due to an error. And it tells you it is its parent directory writable by the server. So basically, what's happening here is WordPress is trying to upload the image, but it can't upload the image. And it's guessing it's because of a setting on your server. Essentially, it's looking to upload the image into the WordPress content folder, but it can't do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to show you how to go in there, update your server, so that you can indeed upload images. So let's pop open into uh, cPanel. Now cPanel is very commonly used in many hosting companies. If, it, if you don't have cPanel, it's going to be a pretty similar operation. Uh, so you should still find value with this. So cPanel is very common. This is You provided this with your hosting company. And so once you log in, you're going to see something like this. So if, what you want to do then is go into File Manager. And it's going to ask you, uh, please select the directory to open. I just go with web root public underscore HTML www. So I just go OK. So we go to go rather. So we're in the web root here of the uh, of the site. So what I want to do is in, I want to go into my WordPress directory. Now because of the way we have it set up, if I go back to Killer Blogs, if you see the URL, WordPress is a WordPress install. Uh, we we have it on the root of the site, right at the base of the site. You may have your blog, your WordPress, or your Drupal, or Joomla, because this, this type of procedure I imagine will work in uh, those programs as well. You may have those programs, you may have the inside of a subdirectory, like for instance, if I go to Killer Sites, we go over to my blog, you see I have a WordPress install here inside of the uh, blog directory. Anyway, with Killer Blogs, it's on the root. So what I want to look for is I want to look for the content folder. See, you got WP content, WordPress-content. It would be a similar uh, type of folder if you were doing something with Drupal or Joomla or something where you had the same problem. Um, the error message display would tell you which folder you want to go into. So what you do is you select the folder, and it turns blue, and then you want to go up here and you want to go to Change Permissions. So I click on that. You notice the permissions. Now you basically want to make that folder writable. So you go click, click. So what does that all mean, make that folder writable? Well, essentially what's happening now is that WordPress is trying to upload images into the WordPress-content folder. If you recall the previous message, it pointed that out. So what we're telling the server now here with this change permission is say, listen, let WordPress write to the folder. See, when you're uploading images or files to a folder, you're writing to the uh, folder. Our ordinators would call this a directory. Anyhow, so you just want to make sure you, ch you make your permissions so that it's writable, 777, and you hit change permissions. So now the permissions have changed. So let's see what happens. So we go to killer blogs. Let's try to upload an image once again. So I'm going to select a file. I'll choose our lock again, hit open, and there you go. We know that WordPress has successfully uploaded the image because we see, you know, it's uploaded here, we see it there. So I can change the title of the image to lock image. That's good for search engines. And we can change the captioning, all the description. That's also good for search engines. So I'm just going to insert this, say float to the right, insert into post. And there it is right here. So let's preview this. I'm going to hit the preview button here when we get this in, into view so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So I'm going to hit the preview button. 
and here is our little block of course so it's um, that's it so if you've been having trouble uploading images onto your WordPress blog and this will apply I would imagine you have the same type of problems whether it be with WordPress Drupal or Joomla where the program is trying to upload images to your server and you're getting that permissions issue uh, as we saw earlier so what you have to do is you have to go into your 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 file manager in the case of cPanel it's called the cPanel file manager on your server and you change the permissions if you don't know how to do that you can call your hosting company ask them a question but I would imagine like 99% of them provide some sort of uh, visual interface like this that allows you to go in there and change all kinds of settings about your server uh, you know f for whatever site you happen to be hosting that's it I hope you found this video instructional I'm Stephanie Chuck with uh, killersites.com uh, killer blogs is uh, one of these cool domains that I have but I haven't decided how to develop it yet it's part of our network but anyway that's another story ciao